Today's gonna be a fun video. It's a haul, but it's a particular type of haul. I've been asked several times, how do I choose products on Amazon? And so today I'm gonna share with you how I choose black owned hair care on Amazon, but I will tell you how you can choose textured hair care on Amazon as well. They have a section for that. So let's get into that first. So Amazon have a, has a textures and hues collection on the website. I generally have to type in textures and hues to find it, but it's easy to find once it's there. And what they share is either influencer curated stuff or like just popular products in the natural hair community. People buy these things often with the demographics of someone with natural hair. And Amazon has cooled it into one spot. Um, however, there isn't a way, as far as I can see, to see the black owned products which to me that matters. I mostly shop black owned with intention. Doesn't mean I don't buy products from other brands, but a lot of the times when I'm purchasing online, I am looking for black owned products, in this case, hair care. Um, another way I find black owned Amazon products is visiting the store. So you have to understand that Amazon has like a lot of retailers, right? A lot of sellers. And so if I were to type in one of the products here, let's say, oh, Bia Naturals Curl Hydration Spray. There will, it will show up from various sellers. So when you go on the page, you have to look specifically for the brand's store. And if you do that, you're buying directly from the brand. They ship via Amazon to you. And so you're sure to still be purchasing from the brand. If you don't do this, you could be fine buying from any wholesaler. You could be buying from any beauty supply. And you know, if that's fine for you, like access is a thing. So, that is, if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. But if you're looking to specifically buy from a black owned brand that is selling through Amazon, then that is the second way that I find my products. I can get a lot of products without the shipping costs, um, various products through Amazon having Prime. So like it's, it's a good way to get like various brands at once and not have to wait for Black Friday or their shipping sales. I, I really enjoy being able to shop that way. Tell me below if you have any other ways you identify black owned products because I really don't know all the things when it comes to Amazon. Amazon is ever evolving, I think. Um, for better or for worse, <laughs> it is what it is. If you don't shop on Amazon, I don't need a whole diatribe in the comments. Like there's no need. I, I understand the evils of the world, but I also understand access. Uh, maybe, you know, we can have a discussion about it if you want, uh, but I don't need a lecture. Keep that for your mama. So let's go through the products that I have. And I chose from some black owned brands. This is not all of them. I just decided to target a few brands that I love um, on Amazon and just get a little roundup of products that I really, really enjoy. Some of my favorite products from the brand. So I already showed you Obia Naturals. So let's start there. So I bought <laughs> two of the Curl Hydration Spray. I really like to spritz my hair a couple times a week. This just makes it really easy to hydrate my hair. It's not too wet, so it's not gonna destroy any of my hairstyles, but it has the right um, conglomeration of ingredients to ensure that my hair is hydrated. It has the humectants, the occlusives, the water. It doesn't have a lot of oil, I should say. Um, it's fragrance-free as well, phthalate-free, and it's, it's pretty dry spray, which I really, really love. So this lasts me a long time, <laughs> and so I didn't feel the need to get a bunch, but I really love having this year round. Another thing that I like from Obia Naturals is their Baba Sudik conditioner. And they have two versions. I, I personally bought both, but I'm going to keep the one that has protein. That's the one that I was looking to purchase because I really like what that conditioner does. It's a nice and balancing conditioner. You guys always ask me for balancing conditioners. It's a really good one that helps the hair stay hydrated, but it has strengthening ingredients. And I really, really love it. I'm so tempted to open this and smell it because I enjoy the smell. Oh, well, there's Naturals products as well. And it, these are vegan products as well. The ingredients lists are often very simple, very natural. There are no parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, DEA, synthetic colors, petrolatum, or petroleum, phthalates, drying alcohols. Like, it's just a nice, clean brand. And I love the fact that it's been around for years and they have not changed anything about the ingredients. So the products I love are still wonderful and i just love supporting this brand so i bought this and the protein container one it just hasn't arrived yet and then the last thing i bought from the brand but it's not not my last favorite thing from the brand it's just the last thing i bought is two of the curl enhancing custard which is my absolute favorite custard the Umbia naturals curl enhancing custard i want to try it with some foam 
Uh, and so I bought some <laughs> for, for myself. Also just an excuse to restock because I really love this product, especially this time of year when I don't need like extreme hold because I'm not really fighting humidity. I love this product. It is one of the few custards that just gives you like the most defined hair in a tight texture. Freaking love it, but it's not a gel that's gonna really have plasticizers and weigh the hair down and stick your hair together. It's just beautiful. I have a video on all of these below, so I'll link them. But yeah, those are some of my favorites from OBN Naturals that you can get on Amazon. It is a black owned, woman owned brand that I just adore and has been around for a while. Another brand that I love that you guys know I love that has been around for a while, um, and that only one of my products is here so far, but the rest will come, is Oyen Handmade. And I have to say, hands down, my absolute favorite product from the brand, can you guess? One, two, three, four, five, is the Ginger Mint Co-Wash. I love this. I had this in my stash, so I didn't purchase another one. This is my favorite co-wash, cleansing conditioner gentle cleanser it's just that girl i love it for a midweek clean i just love it in general it cleanses the hair but it doesn't strip it it will get all you want off the hair smells beautiful has enough slip that i can detangle so it's a one and done and that is my favorite thing about this product and it's just it's that girl from the moment i found it i have not turned back i love it and then another favorite that I used to just talk about all the time and it's still a favorite is Oyen Hairdo. It is one of the few leave-in conditioners that doesn't have a bunch of humectants in it and so it goes with a lot of different products right. I love that about it. It's one of those that you can pair it with so many different things. It won't weigh the hair down. It's a great hydrated midweek that won't destroy your hairstyle. Has good slip. It's just, it's so good. It's such a good leave-in conditioner. It's got the right consistency as well. Smells beautiful. I just love it. I've loved it for years. It's the hair milk that made me understand what hair milks are supposed to do. <laughs> that actually is also a leave-in conditioner. I love it with everything in me. Um, and like I said, it's a black-owned brand. They sell large liter sizes of these products as well, which I love. I've bought those at the World Natural Hair Show before. Just beautiful. And then the last thing from that brand that I really, really love is the Honey Hemp Deep Conditioner. It's a protein containing conditioner. This is another one that I bought because it's a great balancing conditioner. Yes, it's a balancing conditioner um, that I just absolutely adore. It has good slip. I think it has better slip than the conditioner, the not deep conditioner from the collection. Um, it's really nicely hydrating and strengthening at the same time. Lovely sweet smell rinses clean. I love that in my conditioners. I want them to rinse off. Uh, I don't want it to leave a film that's not necessary. You do all like conditioners, you want them to leave some ingredients on the hair, it fills in gaps, but I don't want it to weigh my hair down. You know, when there are too many oils and too many butters, things just weigh the hair down. I like light, fluffy twists, light, fluffy hair, uh, and my hair loves oil and handmade with, like I've been using it for so many years. I like my original review. But yeah, love me that deep conditioner. And I, I'm excited to be able to purchase all of these on Amazon. Because they don't have like the best sales usually. They don't need to. They're a great hair salon as well. Um, but it's, it's just a brand that's been around for a very long time. It's one of the OG natural hair brands that stands black natural hair care. Like the health of hair. And it, you could tell in the products, right? They have a whole plethora of body products as well. These are uh, natural. I don't know if it's vegan friendly. I don't remember. But yeah, love, love this brand. Probably not considering honey is used a lot, but that's neither here nor there. Now, another brand that is black owned, though the owner is no longer with us. The family keeps the brand going and has some of the best products on the market, to be honest. One of them is the Honey Miracle Hair Mask. My just one of my absolute favorite hair products that you can get in store and you can get it in Sally Beauty too um, so you can get deals on it but it's also available on Amazon. Most of TGIM products are available on Amazon. One being the Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Just great slip. Great slip. Great hydration. Um, I think this one doesn't have any protein. It does have silicone but that's fine. It's like just clean your hair. It'll be fine. Um, but it doesn't have any protein from what I remember. And it's just a really good deep conditioner. Just 
it I, I really think that this hit the market at a time where it actually changed the market and that's not something to forget the owner was a cancer survivor she was a nurse and she wanted us to have more natural products and so she created a collection unfortunately cancer did take her from us I believe last year but the products her legacy lives on and I love this deep conditioner I have not tried this other deep conditioner, but I really want it to. You'll see a theme here. Um, and so I purchased the Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Mask. And I haven't tried this. So this is not a protein containing conditioner, actually. It has biotin. That's what they consider strengthening. But it's just a deep hydrating mask. It was like I might as well get uh, its counterpart uh, because I haven't tried this before. And a lot of people tell me they like it. So I purchased this. It'll be one that I try this year. My other favorite product from TGI In. There's a lot actually, I like their collection a lot, is the green tea leave-in conditioner. It doesn't get enough love in my opinion. It is such a great leave-in conditioner. You put it on, it doesn't feel like it does much, but then give it a moment and the hair completely softens, like softens so much. Um, and it's one that won't interfere with a lot of other products, right? It's nice and lightweight. I really, really love the tangling with it actually because it really does soften the hair really, really fast. I like the sweet scent in it as well. It's not cloying, it doesn't stick around. And you get a lot. I think it's 12 fluid ounces for the price, which most of the time you're getting eight and with all these other brands. And it's just a really, really good leave-in conditioner that you can get on Amazon.com. You could usually get it um, in Sally Beauty too, but yeah, we're talking about Amazon here, black owned brand and someone who was looking out for us when she created the products, like our health. Uh, and that's just one of the things I love about shopping black owned. That's one of the differences. These are people who generally are looking to cater to our hair, cater to our bodies, who care about us as a person, right? And so maybe not, like we're still like money, right? It's still about the money and business, but there's just a bit more care. And that's why I like shopping black owned hair care. And then last but not least, you're going to one of my OG favorite brands, like has been black owned for so many years and has stuck true to the brand promise for so many years. I really appreciate that uh, in like every way, shape and form. And that is Camille Rose Naturals. And I really purchased a couple of these products because I want to do a foam wash and go with these. But then the other one because of the whole Maya oil fiasco. And I'm like, look, there's only one hair oil on the market that's black owned um, because there's some that aren't black owned that I would endorse as ones that will stimulate hair growth, right? The Maya one isn't one because it doesn't have any ingredients that'll do that. It's just oil. Like, what's stimulating hair growth is you massaging it in, the circulation. But this is my one of my absolute favorite oils that I'm actually really happy to have because I'll use it to pre-poo. And this is the Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Strength Serum. And the reason this one works is because it has, it has Chicago, um, it, it has biotin, MSM, plus the oil in a formula that isn't too heavy um, and it's just really good. It's really good. It is meant to stimulate hair growth and this, even though it doesn't even make that claim, it says healing hair oil blend crafted com to combat thinning and breakage, right? But if you know the ingredients, you know that there, there are ingredients in here that will stimulate hair growth and I just love this oil. It is such a nice blend. It's my favorite. Um, from the brand. There are only like two oils that I'll stand for really <laughs> buying um, mixtures and this is one of them. Love it, love it. I think mine is leaking for some reason because this bottle is very slippery. I don't know what that's about. Um, I got a little, a few other things from Camille Rose because I want to, like I said, try a wash and go. This is a latte define leave-in and I really like this one. It's hydrating, right? And it um, helps define the hair. It's one of those few leave-ins that helps to start the definition process because it's not focused solely on hydration. It's really priming the hair for wash and go styling. Um, so I really like this one a lot. I don't remember what this smells like. I believe it smells kind of, yeah, co like coffee, <laughs> if, I remember, if I remember. And I really like this one with the almond jai twisting butter or aloe butter gel. I like this with those for twist outs, love them. Someone asked me my cream favorites uh, for twist outs and stuff. Love that combo, this and that. Um, but for a wash and go, I haven't tried this before and I want to. The Camille Rose Curl Maker with the Latte Leave-In. Love this, this is one of the very few 
gels <laughs> that does not have a bunch of humectants in it. And so this is one of those year round gels if it works well for your hair. For me, this is a light hold gel. It's gonna give me um, like defined curls, but it's gonna be really big hair, which I love. I, I like it, you don't have to. Uh, but with the curl primer, different level of hold. And I wanna try it with a mousse. Definitely gonna try it with a spiked honey mousse, but I wanna try it with another one as well. And so you'll see that coming love this product though I have several videos using it um, and I love this also with the Mo Moroccan pear conditioner another good conditioner actually worth the price um, in my opinion <laughs> you don't have to agree uh, but again Camille Rose is one of those brands that has been around forever and a day doing us well creating new collections instead of changing the old collections shouts out if the brand ever sells I'll just move on um, obviously there are lots of options and in the comments, make sure you comment something below. I am doing a giveaway. That's why I got some multiples and things. But I want the comment to not say anything about the giveaway. I just want you to, to make a comment and I will choose a winner or two. I haven't decided how I'm bundling these products. When I get the other ones, I'll make the decision. But the only way to enter is to make a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one.